Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to uh, do some C++ in Ubuntu 10.04 using Nano. Uh, first, make sure you have all your software. You're going to need build essentials right here. Make sure you have that installed and the Nano text editor. You could probably just install through the terminal but I'm a really bad spellist, so it doesn't always work out for me. Oh, alright. Once you have those installed, first thing you want to do is go to the place where you want to save everything. For me, it's in Documents. And then as you can see, I made a C++ folder in Documents, so I'm going to go there. Now, once you're in there, you're going to want to create the file. So you're going to go nano, the name you want. .cpp. See, created it. Now oh, I'm in here. Now we need to write the code for C++. You're going to want to go include. IO stream. The next line is going to be using namespace std. And then you're going to want to create your main function, so int main. Oh. You're going to want these curly brackets because that shows everything in it. I like to tab because it makes it look pretty. You don't have to. And then you're going to put the text you want it to output because you want it to see out the text. So, hello world. You want the little arrows because it's everything in between those. You want to end L and then little co little colon thing. Those are going to be at the end of just about every line, so don't want to forget those. Next line you want to go return zero, and that will end it. And you got to make sure you complete the brackets. And after that, you should be good. So then you're going to go control O, that saves it, so you saves it as hello, cpp. You're going to go control X to exit. Now, to make sure you did everything right and there's no errors, so you go G, plus plus, minus O, hello, because that's what we saved it as, and hello.cpp. As you can see, there was no errors. If there was, it'd bring down a list, I'll show you. To reopen it, you just nano CVV so you can bring it back up. Say I just forgot to put that there. Now I'll control O to save it and control X to exit. And then if I retype in that command, see, it says there's an error on line 4. Right there. See, it says I'm missing the colon before the end. So I can just reopen it back up. And I can add the colon back in. CO to save it again. Enter. Control X to exit. See, no problems. Now to actually run the program, you need to go dot slash and the name what you put. So hello. See? Hello world. It outputted it and it ran correctly. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Thank you for watching, and I hope it was helpful to you.